Hi, my name's Kate. I am a high school math teacher. I just finished up my 16th year teaching and I thought that I would show you guys today how I use my iPad when I'm teaching. This is probably the most used item that I have for teaching and I thought that I would just share that with you guys. So let me switch over to my iPad and we will go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start by finding my PDF, which I save in my Google Drive. So I'm going to open up my Google Drive. I'm going to look through and figure out where I've saved my PDF document. So I go into my year, I go into the course, and then into my unit. And then lastly, into the day. I find this to be the easiest way for me to organize my um, documents in Google Drive. So I've opened up my PDF and then I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to open in. And once I select open in, it's going to export and then I'm going to choose the app PDF Viewer. This is the app that our district has provided us and I found it to be really helpful. So once I open this into a PDF Viewer, I'm going to save it and it doesn't really matter where I save this because I will eventually export it back into my Google Drive. So it does open into a tab. You can see there's several tabs open that I have. You can switch between tabs. You can even move the tabs, which are really nice. I tend to go back and forth between tabs in class. So that's been really helpful. And you can see if it's a multi-page document, all of your pages are there by exporting at one time. So super easy and convenient. And then I can annotate by clicking on the pen. And then with this pen option, I have a choice of a bunch of different colors. You can customize the colors. You can customize the thickness as well. And then you can zoom in on your PDF. And I use a stylus to do my annotations. One of the pens that I use is the Logitech Crayon, and I really like that one. So I can annotate as I'm going through the notes with my students. I can move around the PDF. In geometry, we have so many pictures, so being able to draw right on the pictures has been really helpful. Um, changing the thickness, I can change the um, opacity of this as well, so it's easier to see through, more like a highlighter. And then the ability to erase things, constantly making mistakes, so need to erase, or as I'm talking through things, I can mark things up and then erase them because I don't necessarily want them on the final thing. Um, I can also add lines, there's rectangles, there's ellipse, there's polygons, so there's a lot of different options that you have to create um, different shapes. This isn't something that I use as much in geometry. I think if I was teaching algebra, I would use some of this a little bit more. The other nice thing is that you can import pictures either from your camera or from your camera roll. And I do use this often when, um, you know, I want to pull up a picture. Oh, here's something, you know, we were talking about. I can pull it up into the PDF. And the nice thing is that you can mark on the picture as well, just like you did on the PDF. So, you know, there's the big fat highlighter. Change it back to something that's going to be a little bit easier to annotate on and you can see you can draw right over those pictures. So that's helpful too and you can see it's right in the document along with everything else. Um, going through examples with the students is really nice. You know, I can mark right up on the pictures. I can do the work for the students with the students. A lot of times when I teach I will go over an example with them and then they will work on an example or two either by themselves or with their teammates and then we can go over those together and this app just really allows me to, you know, mark all over the place, erase things that are not necessarily super important to get to the final answer, maybe as the students are kind of planning how to solve the problem. When I'm done, I can upload this. So I tend to hit the flatten annotations. And then you can choose to upload just one page, all of the pages, the ones that are annotated. And then I send these back to my Google Drive. So I click on my drive and then I save them in the exact same place where I had the blank PDF and that just makes it easiest for me to find. And so just going back through, finding those. And once I have those saved in Drive, then I can upload it to my LMS. So I hope that helped you guys. If you were looking into incorporate using your iPad in the classroom, I definitely recommend 
the app that I use, the PDF viewer or something similar. It makes it so easy to create these um, PDFs to use in my classroom and it really doesn't take me any extra time. I don't have to recreate anything else different than what I give my own students. So if you liked this video, please um, like it. If you are interested in following along more with my journey, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!